Hey, God's word to us is pretty amazing. He says that we ought to cast all of our care upon him because he cares for us. I want you to think about that for a minute, how awesome that is to think that there is one who cares for us and it's none other than God himself. Not too long ago, I saw something I will never forget. In fact, I, I've shared it with as many people as possible because the picture of it is, is amazing. I tell you what, you judge and see if this is not for your life. But I was at a, a local airport and I was watching this bird fly by at about head height. He flies by straining, flying, flapping his wings as hard as he could. But behind him was about 18 to 20 inches of a lot of junk. It was his nest, it turns out to be. The bird is flying at 100% capacity, but not getting anywhere. I reached out and grabbed the nest, not the bird. I didn't need to grab the bird. All I needed to do was grab its nest and I got the bird. Grabbed it, the bird just surrendered and caved in in a moment. He's hanging there and I could quickly see how all of that stuff of that nest was wrapped around his one leg. And as he began to unwrap it, in fact, it took me over 10 minutes to unwrap it. As I began to unwrap that nest from that bird's leg, the leg was all bound up and crippled. I began to work those parts of his feet out to get movement in there again, got the nest off of him, and then turned him loose and he flew away. I want you to think about that for a moment. As I thought, what was going in the mind of that bird? When I turned him loose, he must have felt like he was on a jet pack. I mean, to have all that weight now all of a sudden freed from him. Notice this, it took someone other than himself to free him up. It didn't take a, another bird to do it. it. Didn't take a committee of birds. It didn't take a flock of birds. It took somebody from the outside to set him free. Sound familiar? God says, cast all your care upon me because I care for you. God wants to untangle all of your life's stuff that is wrapped around your life, that has choked you out. And listen, be frank about it, be honest. You're tired. You're tired of flapping your wings. You're, try, you're trying hard to pull it off. It's not working. You need God in your life. You need Jesus Christ. So listen, wherever you're at right now, you just pray, Lord, I am burdened by all of these cares and all of these sorrows. Lord, come into my life. I have actually sinned against you by worry. I've not trusted you. And so Jesus changed my life. I believe you died on the cross, rose again from the grave to set me free, to take me from the confines of this world free into your heaven forever. I want you to think about that the next time you're tempted to worry. Worry is assuming something upon your own life that God never intended you to carry. Like that bird needed liberty and salvation from its nest, you need liberty and salvation from your worries and concerns. God bless you and, and listen, it's my hope that through Jesus Christ, you might know real life.